Businesses in Dayton's Oregon district have been open since not long after Sunday's mass shooting that took nine lives there. And Jeanette Levy is live with how neighbors are trying to move forward and return to normal there. And Jeanette. Well, Cami and Paula, a lot of the businesses here, they're frankly tired of all of the attention they've been getting from the media. A lot of the national media actually packed up to leave today. That memorial in front of Ned Peppers that you can probably see behind me, it's covered with a tarp right now because it's supposed to come down, the rain's supposed to come down here soon. But people keep stopping by here. They've been here all day long, paying their respects, looking at the flowers, even leaving flowers. And we're told the plan right now is to leave that memorial up for nine days one day for each of the victims. It's been nearly five days since the shooting, and you can see the grief from the people who come here to mourn at the memorial in front of Ned Pepper's bar. The nine people whose lives were senselessly taken are on the minds of everyone, especially survivors. How lucky do you feel to be alive? No, I'm very blessed and lucky. Dana Friendly was standing next to the alley where shooter Connor Betts stormed onto East 5th Street. He says he saw Betts' eyes. When I, I heard the shots and I saw him coming, I instantly knew. I remember thinking in my head, oh, this is one of those. When I started running, you know, I, you know, I ran from here to the entrance of Blind Bob's right there, and I was just bracing myself. I, you know, I thought that I was getting ready to get shot, to be honest with you. Thankfully, he survived. Next door to Ned Peppers, John Needert is getting ready to paint part of his building. A post-it note tribute on the window lists the names of those police officers who kept more people from being killed. And there are also messages of kindness. Part of the window was shattered by an officer's bullet. Earlier in the week, you know, I, I couldn't wait to get rid of this um, piece of glass and, you know, get on with the healing and, and that kind of thing. But and I think I'm um, going to store it or, you know, figure out something to do with it. I don't know. Niedert is thinking about his tenants and the business owners. With all the other people in the neighborhood, you know, the business owners and just like residents right over here, you know, um, this is their home. You know, so uh, it'd be nice to get it back, you know, the way it was. Meanwhile, Friendly hopes this shooting leads to big changes. I think even as early as at freshman year, if somebody puts out a list that has hit, you know what I mean, people that they'll rape and kill, I think we should put like a, let's say, for instance, a 20 year tag. We're following you. You have to check in. Now today, Governor Mike DeWine and Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley had lunch together here at a restaurant in the Oregon District. They discussed the gun and mental health proposals that the governor unveiled on Tuesday. And they said that they look forward to working on this together in a bipartisan fashion, but they're also encouraging people to come down here and enjoy themselves. Contact your state legislature and your uh, and your congressional delegation about getting some common, common sense gun legislation, and then come and spend some money in the Oregon district. Those are my three asks, and I'm hopeful hopeful that people will take the governor's cue and come on down. And we actually ran into the mayor yesterday afternoon while we were working down here in the Oregon district at a restaurant. And she said she's going to be coming here every day to eat at the restaurants and encourage other people to come down here to support the business community as they try to move forward past this. Paula and Cami, back to you. All right, thank you, and Jeanette. Ohio's governor today also announced a pediatric mental health summit. The event next month is meant to help children deal with the Dayton shooting as well as other traumatic events like the May tornadoes in the region. I can't think of a more tragic thing, a sadder thing, um, to see a child with the depression, see a child with the anxiety or to experience the suicide of a child. 